A profit sharing plan is also a retirement plan. It's a defined contribution plan. But the way they're set up is the company has discretion, which means the company can do whatever it wants. They have discretion as to the annual amount to go into the plan. So if the company has a great year and they really set some big, you know, fireworks off with their profits, they might say, let's take 10% of the profits, put it into the profit share plan. Next year, they have a tough year, profits are slim, they might say, let's take 3% of the profits and put them into the profit share plan. In other words, they're not locked into a certain percentage. A profit sharing plan has complete discretion how much goes into the plan. They, they decide how much of their profits go into the plan. Now what happens when it goes into the plan? It goes into the account for each employee. Each employee has his or her own account for each employee. There it can sit there cash in a money market or it can be invested in the stock markets. You know, it, can be, it can be invested in the stock and bond markets. So profit sharing plans are very, very highly motivating to employees. Employees, when they're sharing in the profits, they feel they're part of the company. And <coughs> they, they want the company to make profits because they want to get their share, okay? So profit sharing plans are a very interesting and growing um, defined contribution plan. They're, they're very interesting to me and, and I, I'm a big believer in them as far as how they work. And <clears throat> the biggest type of profit sharing plan is called an ESOP. And that's an employee stock ownership plan. And here, when the money is put into the plan and it's dropped into each employee's account, it's used to buy stock in the company. And there's a stock price. So quite often these are private companies, private companies, where an appraiser comes in and sets the stock price. So every year an employee in one of these type profit sharing plans, an ESOP plan, gets shares of stock in his or her account based on the profits that are contributed to the account. When that employee is there 20, 25, 30 years and goes to retire, the plan requires that the employee sells his or her shares back to the company and the company gives that employee cash for that stock, right? That's, believe me, that's a home run, okay? And you can roll that into your IRA. Okay? That's a home run. That really makes employees feel like they're owners because legally they are owners. You're in an ESOP plan. You are a part owner of that company. Those shares are real, okay? That gives you an equity ownership in the company. So ESOP plans are a type of profit sharing plan with, with a very strong motivational aspect from a human resources standpoint. But they are very good as retirement plans because the cash is put into the accounts, the cash is turned into stock, shares of stock, the employee accrues shares of stock over his lifetime, and when he goes to retire, sells the shares back to the ESOP, and bah, boom, takes the money. So what if uh, you get let go before you retire? You have all of these stocks in the company, are you forced to sell them? No, you, 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 you're given the option. You can leave it there, you say you're laid off. 
from the company. <clears throat> you can leave it there. You'll get an annual statement of what the new stock price is. Changes every year. But um, and then you know when you're retirement age, you can just cash it out, or you can cash it out when you get laid off. You can say, I want my I want my cash from the stock I have now. And usually the plan provides for how long they have to pay you out. Okay? So here's what we talked about tonight. Defined benefit plans, defined contribution plans, and three types of defined contribution plans. Profit sharing plans, 401k plans, and ESOP plans. Okay? We'll go over it again a little bit next week, and we'll finish up on retirement plans next week. Then we'll go into what I want you to know on Social Security and Workers' Comp. Then we'll do a review. Then we're done. Okay? Thank you, everybody.